like <laughs> like if you stream on your channel <laughs> and then i show your stream well no them i could it, it the, the uh behind this uh, that's why we anyway dogs with a slam on master gable man saying something and then you'd be seeing it like five seconds later right yeah i know i, I forgot about that ass we're we gonna have to do something to get your, your your face on here as well, man, so people can start seeing you. My face? I don't think they want to see my face, man. <laughs> what do you mean? Of course they want to see your face, man. I don't think so, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They want to they be able to put a face to the, to the voice, man. Well, my webcam is like shit right now. But <laughs> if I get a better one, then sure, I can show my face, and then you can like uh there's something called like opening up the the camera screen share into like another its own window yeah i know so then i know we'd we be, we be doing that for D. &D. yes yeah, so and then you can watch this the game and watch me right well no i don't want to watch you they want to watch you people want to okay. watch you. no you know the, the ladies out there man the ladies the, la the ladies be like well, yeah, the ladies, they be like, oh, Tyler, oh, he sounds so smexy. <laughs> I'm like, I'm 16, girls. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care. They said age ain't nothing but a number. <laughs> Bruh. All right, but it's tag team match, so, okay, we got the two biggest guys in the match right now. Right. Dogs and Otis. These two also, they they can actually do some uh, pretty agility stuff as well. I've seen Otis do like the Vader bomb and shit, and Angelo been flying. You know what? Frog splash. In all honesty, I have not seen any of the stuff that Otis used to use when he was with uh uh, damn, what's the dude's name? Uh, Tucker. The caterpillar. No, uh, uh, well, of course, yeah, I haven't seen him do that either. But no, I'm talking about like you know in ring maneuvers. Like he like he used to do a lot more aerial. Uh, uh, stuff when he was with heavy machinery down in NXT and even in the independent. Yeah, I guess maybe just you know keeping the what a big man is. He's just doing that now, right? I'm assu you know, I'm assuming the thing was like Vince loved it so well what he was doing as a big as just a regular typical big guy that uh, yeah. he just stuck with it. Oh, we try to get power bombed him to the outside by Angelo Dawkins was flying him back. Right, you got no Doc be putting in that work. He can do some amazing things between them ropes too. Yeah, bro. Oh Ooh. wow! Damn. <laughs> right. Right. Like, there is like Otis is like five foot ten, <laughs> but he's so big. Wait, ain't no way, ain't no way Otis is just an inch taller than me. Like, look at Gable, and Gable is like 5'8". So I'm taller than Gable. Gable is like 5'8", 5 5'9". 5 Cause I'm 5'9". Alright, then you're either the same height as Gable, or he's a little, little smaller. Oh wow. So now I need to go out here and be a wrestler guy. <laughs> Exactly, you can team up with Alpha Academy. No, never did. No, never did. <laughs> One, two. Oh, Otis right. got a Montez right there. Right. Is Montez even been in the match? Uh, I think he's, didn't he start off the match? Okay, maybe he did. I don't know. Well, I've just seen Agile this whole time. Right, I think Dox is the one who started this match off. So, yeah, uh, he definitely need to get a tag over to his partner, but his Partner is nowhere to be found right now. Man. And they go, they go, Tez, man. Tez, bro, what are you up to? Damn. Angelo with a dragon screw makes the tag. So, Tez, that, what do you see his ceiling being? What do you mean his ceiling? Like, like, can you see him being a top guy in the company? Like, he, like, 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 right, like, absolutely. Like, not for just us, but I'm saying, like, in the actual WWE. Absolutely. What do you think needs to happen for him to be a top? 
he needs to stay as Bayface and just keep doing what he's doing. You know, don't be in a tag team anymore. <laughs> you know, just split up from Angelo, but don't like break up unless Angelo's gonna be the heel, which would still be pretty weird. You know? Okay, now so see. Gotta gradually make the fans, you know, keep believing in them, build them up the card. That is a good way. But here's my you could, literally, you could literally be the one that defeats Seth for the right. title. Right, he could. But hear me out. Everybody always said when it comes down to a tag team, the tag team got to break up. One got to be a heel, one got to be a face. That does not have to be the thing. Look at the yeah, Hart Foundation. The Hart Foundation never did that. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know and, with that. And, 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 look, and look what happened to Brett. Brett went on to become a world champion. Okay. And, and the Heart Foundation never broke up in that kind of fashion. And Charge Book is in the chat, guys. Anybody want to jump on that Charge Book? Yeah, I mean, look at uh, even lightestly, like American Alpha. In 2017, they just split up during the brand split. That was it. Yeah. Yeah, but neither one of them went and shined on their own. Like, I mean, Jason, you, was, Jason was shining, bro, until he got injured. He was doing pretty good. Okay. I'm going to put it to you like this. It wasn't that Jason was shining. It's, it was more so that Vince was convinced that, that Jason could get over in some shape or fashion. In which his heat was not the right kind of heat. But he was doing good work. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like Jason Jordan. But, like, he wasn't over the way that Vince thought that he was. Yeah, but when you split up a tag team, they don't need to be one face, one heel. Right. It doesn't need to be one guy turning on another. Right. Matter of fact, they don't even really have to break up. Like, it could just be that they start, you know, doing their own thing. Yeah, I mean, look at FTR. My boy, my boy, what's his name? Dax? Yeah. They wouldn't have had a, a world title match. Right, exactly. That's what I'm saying. And then, in the case of the Prophets, you actually got an easy out where it could be something like, for instance, like, let's say... <laughs> Rock bottom? Let's say when Becky comes back, right? Becky gets the title again, right? And Seth can get, get his title. Or he keeps the United States title. Whatever. And Becky is attacking Bianca, you know, and Seth is out there. Montez can just come run out there to, you know, beat up Seth. Yeah. You know, then, then, then you got something right there where Montez can go into a program with Seth, take a title off him, you know, or, you know, just start doing his own independent thing from there and still be with dogs. No, I so. I would, I would find that very interesting. Hey. Just, just an easy out. Easy out. Mixed tag team match anything. Got his wife right there that everybody loves. And everybody hey, loves hey, him hey, as a hey, couple. Hey. This match though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this match is fire. But I'm saying, I'm just giving some more, you know, some more general talk. Because some people like general talk. <laughs> like, we, we still discussing wrestling. As as Otis put them them ham hawks to Taz, man. Now Gable back in here. Oh, I heard about him being making a lot more tags. Finally, well, Montez tags out. Well, you got to think about it. Like they 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 had a good rhythm going, you know, before Docs was, you know, able to get out. Right, Dawkins, what are you doing? <laughs> Damn. He, he, wanted, from, he, he, he wanted to, right. He wanted to drop your boy, but now your boy didn't dropped him. Big boy Otis back. So so wait, let me get this straight. So you got you got you got leg DDT and and your back was hurt? Oh my god. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here go that Vader ball. Ball bam, big Ooh. boy. That's it. That's it. It's done. It's done. Montez in the match. One. Oh, he breaks it up. Right. 
Can As they begin that clip. Ooh. Going after the big man with a rock bottom. Oh. That ain't a rock bottom. That's a Tez bottom. How does the rock feel about it, though? <laughs> Is he proud? Yes, yes. Dwayne, Dwayne is okay. <laughs> Dwayne. Yeah, he, he he said he doesn't. He no longer calls it rock bottom anymore. He calls it the atom bomb. <laughs> Montez definitely has the charisma to be a good like singles guy, though. Yeah, he really does. He, he really, he really does. That's why. That's why he. I feel like he needs it. It would. It would help the profits. Uh oh. Boy. One. Good job, he is. took over from the Velveteen Dream. <laughs> Are people calling him like you know the next star? I don't think he did that. Ooh, like George is known for his charisma, Montez is known for as well. You know, and they're both young and high fly, basically. Dream high fly, but well, if that's the so case, then. Like I said, Tess needs the opportunity to show camera? more. I don't know. I guess it camera is. Was like shaking <laughs> it's locked on. It was locked on was... Docs and, and Gable. And so it was trying to keep track of both of them, but it was so too far away from each other. That, that was going. Gable was going after Montez. Angel was trying to come and do some shit. Ooh. Angel just helped help Montez. He did. He just did. Oh, actually fighting them both of them. Right. Ted's getting worked. Ted's getting worked by getting my chance. Got to come to the little guys. Damn, my dad just coming in the middle of it. Right. He like, yo, let me get the help from over here. Doc's got this. <laughs> the dog is beating the shit out of Chad Gable. Gable needs to get in the ring, bro. <laughs> He can't. Angel, leave him. Five. He's Low, gonna get, get in the ring, man. Bro, you see? Yo, this gonna be a double count out? Nah, because Montez is the legal guy. Oh, no. Angel is no, the legal no, guy. Yeah, yeah. Doc's is the legal guy. Bro, you just now Tez is the legal guy. Yo. <laughs> Yo, and just like that, the Prophets pick up their first W on the raw brand, man. A count out. <laughs> right, it's a count out win, but I mean, first and foremost, I don't know what got in the dogs, but dog was beating everybody at. That does like what the fuck you doing? <laughs> <laughs> right. He, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Before you change, before you change, I love it because dogs is the one who put in work. Do you hear me? Outside that ring. And Ted is celebrating like he just won the WWE Championship. 